Hey guys, hope everybody's doing good. It's been a while. I honestly didn't think I'd be messing with Subaru like this again. I bought an 18 WRX, had it about six months, uh, and it got totaled. I ran across this one this past weekend. Uh, had a Jeep project I've been working on for a while. Uh, I got rid of it about two weeks ago. I picked up another Jeep. That's uh, actually right there. And uh, I got a little bit of cash to play with. And this thing just fell in my lap. I don't know if it's a sign I need to get back into doing what I was doing, but uh, this is a perfect platform. This one has a rod knock, but this is the STI. Had a lot of parts on it. I kind of jumped, jumped on it. I mean, I was a, it was a perfect buy. Got a really good deal on it. And I was like, well, I can do, uh, do an LS swap in it. I've had some people contact me over the over the about the last three, three and a half years asking where I'm at, still building parts, this and that. I haven't built I haven't built anything, uh, to be honest with you. I don't have the equipment right now. I sold the plasma table, vendors, welders, pretty much everything. Uh, Long story short, uh, I went through a divorce. I was fighting for custody of my kids. And that just recently got over with about a year ago. It was drawn out pretty long. And it got expensive really fast. And it was hard on me. If you don't know me personally, uh, I've dealt with epilepsy for, since I was about 25. I'm 39 now, and it's been, for the most part, when it first started off, it was kind of rough, and it, it <clears throat> smoothed off. Like it, I was able to deal with it pretty well, but once I got stressed out with the, the divorce and everything, it flared up really bad. Uh, it's been hard to deal with. Uh, it's caused me to lose some jobs. Uh, it's just, just overall, it's hard to deal with. It affects my speech and this uh, sleep. It's hard to focus on stuff. It's just, it's rough. So this is my way of trying to cope with it, help with it, is I want to get back into building parts. I want to start a YouTube channel. Like this right now is very hard to do without, you know, talking to the camera. So this is one thing, you know, I want to do. I want to document LS swap on my own. Like, this is my personal car. I want to do as much as I can on film so to help people out. So I think there's still a market for it. So I'd like to, you know, get this, this car built for myself and enjoy it. So, I think it's a bit a good platform to start with. Uh, I, you know, I don't want to do a lot of paint body work, but there is some stuff wrong with the car. I need a bumper. It's got some a few dents and dings in it, but you know, be a 2011 car. It's not bad. My other projects, I think I just had way too much to do, and I got overwhelmed with it. Uh, I was trying to be too too perfect with a car. I'm real anal with with stuff and. This time, I just want to get a car done. I just want to drive it, enjoy it. So, so if you know, if you want to follow along, like I had a really big, big, really big build thread on on the forums about my first car, and uh, so I think now YouTube's going to be the way to go. People just watch videos and keep up with stuff. So, I've already started. Yanking the motor, you know, pulling stuff to get the motor out. I got the dip out. Uh, started pulling hoses and stuff, and I was like, "Well, I need to document this stuff." So I bought some batteries for the camera. I pulled it out, and uh, so I'm gonna set it up and start, you know, filming all the stuff for you guys. And 
hopefully, you know, you ought to start sharing with all your friends and stuff and be like, hey, watch this stuff. And hopefully we can get this car together. You know, uh, I want to do a Nissan transmission six speed with CDO double nine in it, do the Collins adapter and go that way. I've never done it before using that transmission, so make it a little better. And I'm not sure which LS engine I'm gonna use. I have a 4.8 with 799 heads sitting in the corner. So may use that motor or may do a six liter this time. But probably all motor to start with. This I'm on a budget. I got still gotta buy tools, I gotta buy benders and stuff like that. But the cars overall the interior is really nice. Uh, I can enjoy it the way it is. I don't have to go out and buy a lot of stuff. We got, you know, decent wheels and tires. I mean, they're stock, but, you know, I can be happy with them. We got to fix the bumper. The bumper's trash. So, just do a bumper. I can paint that, do it myself, and fix the hood. It's got a little, little dent in it right here. It's got something going on there. It's underneath the paint, but overall, the car looks good. So pretty much I'm happy with it. So, but you guys tell me what you want to see and I'll make it happen and try to get this YouTube channel going and get monetized. It'd be nice. It'd help out a lot. And if you guys want me to start making parts again, let me know. And after I get my car done this time, I'll think about doing parts for you guys. But I want to do this this time for myself and go from there. So any questions, hit me up. I'm trying to help you out. A lot of stuff I don't even remember. Epilepsy messes my mind a lot, like my memory. So it's hard to remember stuff. Plus I got two kids now and that just wears me out. So they're wide open all the time. But I got to figure out this stuff and YouTube, I got to figure that out. So let's go from there and just see if we can make this happen this time. So I guess that's pretty much it. Let's get this first video up and go from there, guys. I appreciate it. And thank you. Let's see.